Hello everyone and welcome to Insider Financial Talk Stocks. My name is Alex Carlson. I will be your host today, the Editor-in-Chief of InsiderFinancial.com. And in this video, we will recap today's market action and discuss our game plan for tomorrow. But first up, to get our market moving reports on top small caps, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up with your email on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com. After you sign up with your email, you can then sign up with your mobile number. Mobile is the fastest way to get our reports and it works for all numbers worldwide. Simply enter your country code first, followed by your number. For US and Canada, be one plus area code and number. Never begin the format with zero, it will not work. And after you sign up, you will get a welcome email, which includes a free copy of the Insider Financial Guide to Penny Stocks ebook. Our ebook, our email service, and our text messaging service are all free services from insiderfinancial.com. We do not run any paid subscription service, no Discord rooms or Telegram chat groups. Well, guys, it's been an uneventful week here at insiderfinancial.com. We had no reports for our subscribers this week as we just aren't seeing anything in anything actionable in the markets right now. Uh, stocks have rallied in the first half of this year as uh, traders are betting that the Fed was near the end of its hiking cycle. That narrative is facing some headwinds to start the second half of 2023 as we got hawkish Fed minutes and a strong ADP employment report today. Traders are now thinking uh, to forget rate cuts, but that more rate hikes are on the, on the way. Uh, Thursday's data from ADP put investors on high alert uh, that further policy tightening, tightening is ahead for the central bank. Traders now forecast a 91% chance that the Fed will raise rates at its July meeting, according to the FedWatch tool from CME Group. Policymakers indicated at their June gathering that two more rate hikes could be ahead in 2023. So that means we're going to get one uh, likely this month and also at the September meeting. Today, uh, overall stocks, uh, the major averages slipped after the data from ADP showed that private sector employers added 497,000 jobs in June. That figure far exceeded the 220,000 estimate from economists polled by Dow Jones. The focus for tomorrow is at 8.30 a.m. when we get the jobs report for June. Economists surveyed by the Wall Street Journal expect to see that the economy added 240,000 jobs last month down from the 339,000 added in May. The unemployment rate is expected to have ticked down to 3.6% from 3.7%. And what's notable is the ADP report has typically shown smaller employment gains than the non-farm payroll data supplied by the Labor Department over the past several months. That has raised concerns that the official data for June due tomorrow will be especially strong. And then despite long running fears that the economy is headed for a recession, economic data continues to show a resilient U.S. economy. That has raised concerns that the Fed will hold its next policy, uh, which will hold its, its next policy meeting uh, this month, will hold uh, interest rates higher for longer than investors had hoped as it seeks to curtail inflation. So in other words, as long as the labor market is strong, that is the sign that uh, the Fed uh, cannot pause or cut rates uh, uh, anytime soon. And today uh, we had the uh, ISM uh, uh, Institute for Supply Management uh, said that its index of services activity rose to 53.9 in June from 50.3 in May. A reading above Fed above 50 indicates expansion. And then the Fed right now, if you look also look at it, they're certainly in a pickle with next year being a presidential election year. If they keep hiking, that runs the risk of a recession and that will help Biden at the polls and help Trump if, he's, if those two are the nominees. Right now, the economy looks strong in terms of the labor market, as I was just saying. In terms of small caps, it's very, very choppy and it's a hard market to make any money in. Uh, for me uh, here, I am not even trading small caps right now. I am strictly doing options on big cap tech. 
Tesla, NVIDIA, Meta. Uh, these are my three favorites to trade options on. The stocks move. There's plenty of liquidity in these options, can easily get in and out, and I'm playing it both sides with calls and puts. So that's what I'm doing here. If you want to, those types of options plays, leave a comment below or send an email to staff at insiderfinancial.com. And if we do, uh, we can put you on the list. But right now, some names on the small cap space uh, to talk about, uh, first up, if you're going to talk about small caps, you have to talk about Mullen Automotive, M-U-L-N. I was going to do a video about, uh, you know, on this one last night, but I was worried uh, that too many would go chasing it, and I was right. I bag hold quite a few traders today. I mean, it's, it's bag hold traders, you know, all year. Uh, it's just been an absolute horrible investment. Uh, but today, the, the stock opened at $0.28, cents, hit $0.32 cents before dropping down to $0.20. Cents. Uh, came out with this PR uh, pre-market. Mullen Automotive announces $25 million stock buyback program. Had the quote from the CEO. We are initiating this buyback program as an attractive opportunity to, to deploy capital and return value to our shareholders. Said David Mitry, CEO and chairman of Mullen Automotive. I think he's probably one of the most hated CEOs right now in the small cap space. Uh, I, I mean, even the bulls have nothing good to say about him. So again, just absolutely disaster of investment. Uh, if you caught the, if you've not been in Mullen and you caught the move for uh, up from ten cents, uh, congrats! Uh, you're one of the few that have actually made money in this name. Uh, there's just really not much more to talk about, and I don't know where it goes from here. Uh, good luck to to uh, any that are that are trading it. Speaking of bag holding, uh, A L L R. I mean, this is just classic. Uh, bag holding 101. They did the positive PR on Wednesday uh, to goose the stock and then an offering today. Just absolute garbage. Uh, what can I say? I keep telling you guys, trade them, don't own them. Uh, you know, especially biotechs, they love doing offerings after, uh, after a, uh, a run up, uh, especially when you get a, a spike. You know, if you really want to trade biotechs, you know, like KTRA, uh, you have to do these that are just climbing up. Uh, you know, I gave this one last week uh, at $3.38, uh, closed today at $5.21 today uh, for potential gains of 54%. Not bad in this market. Congrats to those who have banked. Uh, shout out to uh, Mr. Lowry21. Uh, I, seven days ago, KTRA baby broke four dollars and forty cents. He was very happy, uh, <clears throat> and he's probably if he's still in it, even happier uh, after the stock uh, closed at five twenty one, uh, up twenty percent today. Uh, nice price action in this market, so we will take it. Uh, next up is TRUP. Talked about this one last week. Green on a red day, up 8%. 33% of the float is short. I talked about this one last week uh, when it dipped below 20. Uh, congrats if you are banking in this, uh, this one. Uh, some na AI names uh, pulling back today. Uh, first up is SOUN, uh, down 25% this week. Uh, I know there's another YouTuber uh, he's uh, invested in it, been talking about it on his channel. Uh, wish everyone good luck. Uh, no opinion on, on SOUN. Uh, again, my, my if you want my opinion on these names, you know, all I can say is trade them, don't own them. Uh, if you want to own AI names, uh, the two best plays right now are AI and uh, NVIDIA. Uh, SOUN is down 25% this week. Whereas AI is up 10% this week, up 249% year to date, and NVIDIA up 188% year to date. So there's much better names uh, in the space. Um, a APLD uh, getting hit today. <coughs> uh, Wolfpack Research out with a short report. Uh, APLD, an embarrassing and predictable stock promotion. Uh, not going to get into the reading the report. Um, you know, you guys can go to wolfpackresearch.com uh, and see what they have to say there. If this is one of your uh, plays, 
But uh, there's a lot of hype in the AI sector. There's a lot of companies going to be pivoting. Uh, I was around during the dot-com boom. Everything was changing to dot-com, uh, and a lot of those companies went under. Uh, AI is the next uh, dot-com mania. Uh, there's going to be a lot of winners, but there's also going to be a ton of losers. So, you know, the key is differentiating uh, the winners from the losers, and that's what we will be do, we do here at InsiderFinancial.com. We keep the winners on your radar screen. Uh, we're also looking at a lot of new under under the radar plays in the AI space. So uh, if you want those types of uh, plays, click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com. Uh, two names uh, running this week. Uh, first up is Rivian Automotive, R-I-V-N. Uh, this one might pull back uh but it was up today uh, on our overall red day. Uh, nice, nice price action here. Uh, this one here is going a lot higher. Um, I, I think we're going to see $30 uh, by the end of the summer. Um, up 47% this week. A lot happening. Uh, put this, If this one's not on your radar screen, put it on. Options market, very, very liquid. A lot of trade opportunities in RIVN. Uh, closed today at 2162. The next, the resistance is the pivot high of 2209. We get through there, and, uh, and like I said, this one's going to make a major move. So keep this one on your radar screen. And lastly, guys. Uh, Finger Motion FNGR up 39% this week. Uh, no news. Uh, we've covered this one here a lot at insiderfinancial.com. Uh, I'd be scaling out and booking profits here. Volume very light. Uh, some YouTubers are trying to pump it up. Uh, be cautious here. Uh, like I said, it's been a great trader. Uh, you can go into uh, insiderfinancial.com, go into the magnifying glass, type in any symbol uh, and see what we've had to say. We've covered this one a lot. Um, so again, it's all there here on insiderfinancial.com. We've been, uh, we, we play, you know, we, we call it like it is, uh, bullish, uh, bearish, you know, right now. Uh, we are not bearish, but we would be booking profits uh, here. Uh, nice uh, price action here, you know, especially uh, in, a, in a tough market, up 39% in a week. Uh, like I said, on no news, you got to take it where you can. But overall, um, you know, like I said, this, that's all that's really worth talking about, you know, tonight. Um, I will be doing a lot of research this week, uh, this weekend, uh, looking for plays for subscribers next week. Uh, make sure you uh, sign up and to get all of our small cap reports. We, we cover low floats, short squeezes, recent IPOs, biotech FDA plays, and of course, AI stocks. Click that link in the description or go to signup.insiderfinancial.com or sign up on any of the pop-ups on insiderfinancial.com. No spam. Your info is never shared. Unsubscribe anytime. You can even sign up just to see the level of research we do here at insiderfinancial.com and unsubscribe. Finally, Insider Financial and I are not investment advisors. This video does not provide investment advice. Always do your research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is on a solicitation or a recommendation of buy, sell, or hold securities. This video is our opinion is meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. Thanks for watching. Remember to smash that like button and hit the notification bell to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Uh, good luck tomorrow, and we'll be uh, back on Sunday night with a new video. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.